Please make welcome the Chief Executive for the Ministry for Ethnic Communities, Mervyn Singer. Mervyn, thank you. Thank you. Enga mana, enga reo, enga waka, tēnā koto, tēnā koto, tēnā koto katoa. Good morning, everyone. How wonderful it is to see you all today at our inaugural Ethnic Advantage Conference here in Christchurch. Um, I want to extend a very warm welcome and to thank you all for making the time to be with us today. You could be doing so many other things with your fauna, with your you know, community. You could be involved in other things, but you are here today, and that's wonderful to see. Um, I would like to acknowledge our guest speakers and our distinguished guest, Te uh, Tomata Tapo Ngai Tuahiriri, our mana whenua, who graciously opened our conference this morning. Tyler Harrison Hunt, uh, City Councilor, Christchurch City Council. Our keynote speaker, Abbas Nazari, who I know is going to blow us away with his speech. Um, our panelists and moderators who have come down to Christchurch from across the Motu, thank you so much for making the time to attend this conference and to participate in the corridor that we're about to have uh, this morning and this afternoon. I'd just like to take a minute to uh, reflect on the contribution that Christchurch, the people of Christchurch, have made to diversity and inclusion in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Uh, through a short story. When I was a young boy growing up in Malaysia, I used to visit a friend whose house was filled with beautiful objects. And one day, while we were playing in the house, we crashed into a blue porcelain vase. It fell to the ground and shattered into several pieces. We were horrified. Uh, we were only about eight or nine years old at that time. Uh, what would his mother say? You know, this, this was a precious object for her. So with tears in our eyes, we confessed our crime and said, you know, this is what we've done. Uh, she smiled quietly and said, it's all okay, don't worry about it. Several weeks later, she showed us the broken vase again. She said, here's, look at, look at this, boys. It had been carefully put together using a traditional Japanese method called wabi-sabi. The broken pieces had been welded together with a, a gold compound of some kind. It looked even more beautiful than before. The wabi-sabi tradition from Japan celebrates the beauty that comes from imperfection. Things that are broken can be made more beautiful because of the character that they acquire from being pieced together. I want to thank you, the community in Christchurch, for showing us beauty in the face of adversity. You have faced challenges more than any other place in New Zealand over the past two decades. The Christchurch earthquakes and the mosque attacks have tested you and raised your sense of resolve about the type of community we all want to be in New Zealand. You have shown us what uni unity and diversity looks like in action. To me, you are like the vase that was made more beautiful by carefully being put together again. When times got tough, the tough in the city got going to build back that which was broken. Your compassion, aroha, courage, and tenacity are a shining example for everyone across the country and beyond these borders of Aotearoa, New Zealand. Thank you for being an example for all of us. Now, today's conference is a part of a series of national annual flagship conferences the ministry will be hosting. And I want to thank my team who've been spending many hours working into evenings and weekends uh, preparing this conference. I'm really grateful to them uh, for their passion and commitment to our Kaupapa here today. Um, these conferences are all about diversity and inclusion. The first conference was in Otepoti, Dunedin. This is the next. And a big conference is also in the planning for Auckland in the first half of 2023. I'm a bit worried about that one, but I'm sure we'll get there. <laughs> the name of these conferences, the Ethnic Advantage Conferences, we thought very long and hard about the right name. You know, what, what's the name we should choose? The name highlights that ethnic diversity is something we should treasure in New Zealand. It is a taonga that we should really nurture and look after. Ethnic diversity brings with it huge advantages for our country. Our ethnic diversity creates economic, social, and cultural enrichment for Aotearoa, New Zealand. Ethnic communities, all of us here in this room, we have been and continue to be contributors 
to New Zealand for well over 100 years, we can be confident people about that and be proud for our contributions to this country. We have more potential to be unlocked. We all need to work together to unlock the dynamic potential of diversity and to move the impediments out of the way, things like racism and discrimination, get them out of the way. These hui, they're not just an event people, you all know this, they are about bringing people together, especially after COVID-19, as Julian said before, it's so important to bring people back together again. They are a tool for promoting inclusion. They are a powerful platform connecting, for connecting diverse people to have korero on what matters to us. And I hope they will help form deep and respectful relationships across all our ethnic communities. Um, they invite conversations on how to create a strong and empowered communities in New Zealand that can make Aotearoa inclusive, an inclusive country that celebrates and draws upon our diversity. We want this conference and the, and the rest of them to connect people, for people to share information and to grow together. I look forward to the korero that we are all going to have and I encourage you to speak freely about the issues that you have to share your insights. That is the reason we are here. We are here for you. So I look forward to the rest of the conference today. And once again, I want to thank you for attending and for the precious gift of your time. Norera, tena koto, tena koto, tena koto katoa. <laughs>